Yep, we're building a hockey rink in the middle of this summer. Yard Rink sent us this kit and it is unlike any other rink. So we wanted to set it up early so you could see it. They also gave me a coupon code. You want to grab one, use this coupon code 10% off. And the reason we're building this one is to show off the features. Number one, the liner is not a thin plastic liner. It's an actual tarp, you can reuse it, that is nice. And it's the shape of the actual rink, no extra plastic. Number two, the liner goes outside the boards, not inside. So now when you shoot a puck, it's gonna rim all the way around. When you're shoveling the snow off the ice, it's not gonna rip the liner, so that is crucial. And also you fill the boards with water, they freeze, gives you a nice, hard, firm board to play. Now that you know about the features, Let's find a nice skate and open up this box. Let's get this open. This is how Canadians open the packages. It's, uh, yeah, it's great. It worked great. <laughs> Yard ring. So this is uh, a new kit. If you can just put all these on your back. Okay. Like your team. <laughs> hey, we got a game tonight. Let's see if you can... Hayden's going to use Chara's hockey stick in the game tonight. We'll see if he can carry a team there. Um, <laughs> Let's load up the car. Could have used my truck. Cool. Let's get these seats down. Can we fit a full hockey rink in the back of the Honey Ionic? We might need two trips. Uh, what is this? Okay, straight panels. We should put a few on, on the roof, okay? Okay, it would just roll right and off. And you clearly don't care about views, okay? <laughs> it shouldn't be logical, it should be entertaining. When I say dumb things like this, you should say, that's a great idea. <laughs> I thought the first thing that you were gonna say is why are you building a backyard rink in July? I don't ask those types of questions. You don't question me, you don't even question anymore. <laughs> Curved panels. Mm. You think this is bad for the paint job? No. Okay. Pop quiz, how far do you think I'll make it before one of them falls off? As soon as you hit the top of the hill, it'll slide right down the hood of your car. Mm. Okay, let me know in the comments, can I make it there? Can I, will it only make it five feet? Uh-huh. Wobbling a bit. Oh my God. No way. <laughs> All right, let's build a hockey rink. Why, oh, wait, wait, wait. Why though? I still don't know. Okay, why, why are we building a hockey rink in August? If you check out the weather at night, it's starting to get a little colder, eh? Mm -hmm. It's dipping down. So I figure if we, if we get it up now and fill it, it's not even below zero. If, if, if I put like a fan, like an oscillating fan on it to mm, cool that, yeah. a little bit of ice from the freezer, I can yeah. get it going a little early. Like we could be skating in October. So the actual reason why we're building this rink is because it is a brand new rink. I wanted to show off the features of like how it works. And this video is sponsored by Yard Rink. They sent me this whole setup. It's a 20 by 40, so it's a smaller rink, but pretty much just to show off the features if you're in the market for a new backyard rink definitely one to look into a few benefits which we'll get to but let's just do it like a really quick setup actually let's see what time is it 305 how long does it take me to get this off my car and set up the nice thing is there's no measuring which is one of the most uh, time consuming things hmm. and why well, do have a nice level area so that's good very important obviously this is a little extreme here can you put a hockey rink right here no why obviously because all the water there be no ice there all the water come down here all right it, it's the same thing on a smaller scale, you need four inches to skate on. And you might look at your yard and be like, oh, this is nice and flat. No, it's not. Measure your yard first, make sure it's level, because if there's like a four inch difference, that means if you put in four inches of water, there will be uh, a lot on this side and none on this side. So you need to make sure you can at least get like, we'll say two inches, three inches, it's good. I actually don't know what that is. The stakes, those are the stakes. That's what I thought it was. Oh yeah, the stakes are high. <laughs> a guy goes into the butchers and uh, he asked for the best cut of meat, but they were on the top shelf. And the guy says, no, sorry, the stakes are too high. Ah, 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 ah. Uh, Hayden, holding the camera sounds really good right now. Huh? Mm -hmm. Why can't I be a cameraman? Could you imagine, Hayden, that we get an El Nino? Where, what's that, like where it flash freeze overnight or something? An Arctic storm comes moves in. I set up this rink. Uh, reports that a uh, Arctic wind is moving in. Negative 20 for the next five days. 
So how easy? Can one man set this up? It's rounded. Yes, it is the shape of a hockey ring. That's unreal. Hey look, it's starting to rain. It'll fill up for you. Perfect, see that's why I'm doing it. <laughs> Have you ever considered digging a pond? Yes. <laughs> Set up, you put the boards together. That's it. How do they clip together? I have no idea, but I'm gonna look at the instructions for you. Oh, they have a little bracket. So I try to just figure stuff out, and it looks like you just go like that and then put a bolt in there. That's easy. Uh, and then where does the tarp go? You, how, like, how far do you have to inset outside it? Inside the pants. You probably have to slide it around these with the zip ties. Yeah. Okay. Spread tarp, place panels, connect links. So I should use a uh, hex bolt, a driver, just to make things a lot faster. Pause the video. Oh, there it is. Got it. Nice. Show like the halfway point, like right here. That's halfway. Uh, so we're gonna put the boards, the straight panels, along here, and the curved ones are gonna go up there. It's actually kind of cool. They have the base at the bottom. No other boards have that. And then the water will make them even more solid. Yeah. Too. So the water makes the boards really solid because you fill it up to like there, and it freezes the boards in place. It gives you a nice solid wall. No. Also, real big pro tip here. You see this part of the boards? Don't face that to the outside, right? <laughs> because we want the puck to play off. We put the smooth, smooth part to the inside. The setup of these boards is really easy because of that wide yeah, base. You just stand them up in place and just make sure they're aligned with the markings on the tarp. And then once you have them evenly aligned, you're good to go. You get out the bolts and you start bolting together and you got yourself a hot drink really quick. Uh, we were moving some pieces around to try to get this to fit because uh, you got to get to fit on the tarp. It goes together pretty easy. You got to line it up properly, that's all. That's 351. Not okay. bad. For 40 minutes. A few errors here and there. For 40 minutes, that's Two bright guys like us though, so. Well, getting all our shots too. <laughs> but here's the time consuming part. How long will it take us? To drill each thing in, yeah. Lee. Oh, battery's dead. <laughs> yeah, so I got this little teeth. Lock it in there. Look right there, see that magnet? Oh, that's a nice touch. And this is the, oh no, I better be careful. We got the boards bolted, looking pretty solid. That's a nice touch to have that band around the entire thing, it, like, it holds the boards in. We got the base there, filled and frozen, even more solid. Next up, we have to attach the tarp to the boards. Let's go. Moving on to the cable ties, a little, quick little time check here, uh, 407, not bad. Uh, I estimate this would probably take about 20 minutes because we have to put a uh, cable tie through every island. Might take a while. It's a great job for the kids. Where the heck are some eight year olds for child labor when you need them? We're starting at uh, 408, speed run, let's go. I'm gonna start by dropping some of these you know, around. <laughs> oh, I should have put them out, actually out here. <laughs> I've already messed up. <laughs> I made a great mistake. This is the one wasteful part of, like you get to reuse the liner, which is nice. A lot less wasted plastic there, but you will have to buy new zip ties each time. I think that's worth it to me. Okay guys, we've had a sudden change of heart. Um, Hayden has informed me that it is not gonna freeze. We're not gonna get any cold weather. He's crushing my dreams here. <laughs> so he says, Jeremy, why are you wasting all those precious, precious zip ties, putting one on every single one, when he doesn't think we're gonna leave this rink up all summer? If you're at this stage of your building, get some friends to put some zip ties up, and it'll go a lot faster. After we get the zip ties on, we have the steaks, and sorry, not barbecue. Actually pretty cool, dude. So, yeah. sound nice. 
actually like that noise. Yeah, th those are solid. So the wood ones always splinter. Steel, I don't know, I guess, is, is, is the fiberglass better? So these stakes are basically to keep the boards from bowing out. So once you fill this with water, right, it starts to kind of push out. It's a lot of pressure, so you gotta stake these. You gotta make sure you don't pierce the tarp. Obviously you don't wanna, you don't wanna do one of these. Bop, bop, bop. You lose all your water, so get, get that out of the way. And it's supposed to be basically be against the V. So pound it in there, yank the tarp up a little, and you got yourself a nice stake. But you won't be able to do that with the sport court. You just need a really strong hammer. For me, I cannot put it through my sport court, so I'm gonna have to adapt, and I'm gonna use sandbags. 417, I did cheat a little on the cable ties, but as we, you know, if you had a few friends, it would go pretty fit, fast. Not time, not a bad time. We start at 311? Yeah, about, about an hour. An, an hour to set up an entire rank, and this is my first time doing it. That's impressive. I feel like we could do it in like half an hour next time. If you weren't filming and, and yeah. you're doing stuff, yeah, we could throw that out. It was my fault, yeah. yeah. It is, always. <laughs> uh, the last part, of course, is to fill, and this is what you do, you take the hose, and you fill the panels and just realized this is the perfect soap hockey rink. Yeah. <laughs> it's contained, like it'll keep a bit of water in there, like you, we don't lose all the water. Mm -hmm. It'll keep the soap in. Yeah. The suds. Oh my gosh. <laughs> we need to start a soap hockey, like a, so you could sell these everywhere across America. Every country can have their own soap hockey It's the rink. perfect size too. It's the new sport. Oh gee, are we, are we genius? Are we the smartest people on YouTube, Hayden? All right, buy your soap hockey rink now. <laughs> and if it gets cold, you can skate on it in the winter too. The skating surface may take a few days to freeze. So let's- Oh, we might as well fill it now then, yeah. We might, if it takes a few days, it says depending on the weather. So maybe- Maybe six Maybe days. A, a week max. Yeah. A week max and we'll be skating. Wow. Like right. mid-August. Mid I'll go grab my skates. Thank you. All right, let's show how we get the board play. We are using a road hockey ball. It's not frozen yet. You gotta give us a week, ready? Check this out. Ooh, it's actually pretty satisfying, eh? Yeah. It comes right back to me. Oh, nice, let's do it again. Oh, a little too much heat. Not too powerful, too strong. Uh, shout out to Yard Rink. So that's the company right there, Yard Rink. I'll put the link in the video description if you wanna check them out, or to yardrink.com. I'm pretty sure they're giving me a coupon code or something for you guys to use, so make sure you use that if you pick up the rink. They said it's comparably priced to the other guys. As you see, very easy to set up. I mean, is it the best rink? It's looking... It's looking pretty to, promising. To be honest, the, the biggest thing I hate about a backyard rink is that I have to throw out that line. Come, come here. So right there, there's a massive wasp nest. Uh, and directly behind it, see right here? I'm gonna sneak up on it, I'm gonna sneak up on it. Oh, no, it's a thing. Boom. Uh, this is my old tarp. That's uh, from last year. I think there's another one under there from the year before. I just can't bring myself to throw them out. <laughs> because I want to make a slip and slide with them. I've been using for soap hockey, but like, that's a lot of plastic waste. So with this, you don't damage the liner because the liner's on the outside. You can shovel and you can basically just pack it up, put it away, bring it back up next year, pack it out. One less thing to buy. That's the other thing, the cost. Uh, those liners, they're not cheap. Probably like 200 to like 400, depending on the size of your rink. So you're gonna save yourself some cash. You're gonna waste less. I do like how it's easier to shovel, how you can get all the snow off easily. You're not worried about that. I'm gonna like that, I think. You guys wanna see what it looks like frozen? So we do have some footage from Yard Rink when they set it up and tested it. It has been battle tested, right? But it's been used for a few winters and this is their, their official launch. So I'll show some of that footage here. It is very promising. All right, that is a quick setup and uh, summer review of the Yard Rink. I am looking forward to the winter time. So hit that follow button, follow me on uh, Instagram and TikTok as well. I'm gonna be using this all throughout the winter time. If you're looking for a backyard ring, I mean, I do like the fact it's super fast to set up. The tarp goes on the outside. You're not wrecking the tarp. You don't have to reorder a tarp every year. It looks solid. I do have to put it through a, you know, a winter of use, but they have used it. They have battle tested it. They have set it up. They've gone through a few winters. Uh, I haven't personally, but the company always has. So if you want to get one, you're looking for a rink, I got a coupon code. They're going to send me one. I'll put it right down there in the video description. Check it out. Yard Rink. Head over to their website. Having a backyard rink, definitely recommend it. There are so many great memories that I have with my kids. And you know what? It is work. You got to shovel it. You got to flood it. But honestly, it's like meditation for me. Like getting that smooth ice surface is just so satisfying. Uh, so definitely 
check it out yard rink if you're shopping for a rink consider these guys and we will see you in the next video and later on in the winter while we're skating on this thing see you in the next video guys